Hey everyone, it's Phoenix again. I am going to do a quick video here uh, just to cover how to take the uh, Phoenix UI settings that I've packaged and uh, edit them so that uh, so that your interface after you install all the mods in the video that I made uh, will look basically like mine does in the video. Uh, it's a good template to start off with and then you can kind of take it from there and customize it however you like. But um, for anybody who wants to get one that looks like the way mine does, uh, this will be a quick and easy way to do it. Uh, a couple things you're going to need, uh, follow the link in the description and uh, get Notepad++ and install that. Um, it's basically like a programmer's notepad, it has a lot of formatting <coughs> options. Basically for uh, our purposes, we're just going to use it to edit all of the files at once to avoid having to... Uh, edit them one at a time to change your account and character name settings. So uh, download that, get it installed. It um, doesn't put anything on your computer that runs in the background or any kind of spyware or anything. It, you can look it up on CNET. It's a very lightweight and um, legitimate program. So get that and also download the main UI file and just for now um, extract it to just your desktop will be fine. Um, and then of course uh, before we get to this point you do need to actually get the um, Minion Download Manager. Uh, if you watch the video, it, you can go to esoui.com, and this is the um, unofficial official add-on manager for ESO. And uh, get that installed, and go ahead and install all the add-ons that we talked about in the video, and um, that way they will be there to have the um, settings files that we're going to convert here. Um, applied to. Uh, so you do have to install them first so that we can do that. Um, quick thing on uh, on the Minion add-on manager, <clears throat> when you go to install the add-ons, don't actually get them off the website. Just go to the Find More tab here and type uh, the name of the add-on into the search here and it'll come up in the list and it'll give you just a button to hit install. Uh, and that's the easiest way to do it. <clears throat> so install all the add-ons that way. Uh, get Notepad++ installed and download the UI. And then um, once you've got all that, the uh, next thing you need to do to prepare is uh, go to your Documents, uh, Elder Scrolls Online Live, Save Variables. And if you have anything in there already, there will be at least a, a ZO underscore in game because that's your just default game options. And you may already have some add-on options in here. Um, just select them all for now. Uh, right click on them and copy. And then right click in the white space here, new folder. Uh, you can call it anything, I'm just going to call it temp for now. And uh, paste a copy of those files. Right click in there and hit paste. That will copy all of your existing configuration files into this backup folder. Uh, just in case you need to revert them or um, something gets overwritten, uh, you will have a backup. That's just always a good idea anyway. Uh, once you have done that, go ahead and open up the um, Phoenix UI files, and this is what you'll see there. And the first thing you'll want to do is associate these .lua files with uh, Notepad++, which is why you want to install that first. Um, to do that, just right click on any one of these and click Open With. And then um, you probably won't see it in the list, so just click on Browse. And go to your C drive and Program Files x86. And find the Notepad++ folder. And click on Notepad++.exe and hit Open. And make sure this checkbox is checked to always use the selected program. And then hit OK. Um, that just associates those files, so if you double click them, they open with this. Uh, you can just hit the little X right here to close that and then close the program for now. Uh, once you've done that, just select all the files in the UI folder. Uh, right click on any one of them and you should now have the option Edit with Notepad++. So go ahead and click on that. And that opens all of the files up. Um, you want to actually use these left and right arrows here <coughs> and find the undiscovered file just because it has both of the um, settings that we need to edit. Not all of them do. And the first thing you need to change is um, 
where it says at account name. I just put that as a place, uh, placeholder. Uh, you need to select that whole thing minus the quotes and then go up here to the replace button um, which is next to the binoculars. Hit that and um, leave the at account name and find what. For replace with you need to type in your actual account name. So this is uh, the name, the username you use to log into the game uh, with the at symbol in the front. Um, it's also the name that appears in your guild list for you. Um, so mine is uh, at Alien Diplomat 112. And you can uh, feel free to send me in game gold or items uh, as you see fit. Uh, just don't spam me too bad. And uh, once you've got your account name typed in, make sure you've got that at symbol at the beginning. Don't put any trailing spaces or anything. Uh, you want to hit the Replace All in All Open Documents button. And that will edit every single file that you have open all at once. And it tells you how many occurrences it replaced. Uh, you can just close it after you do that. And then the other thing you need to edit is here where it says Character Name. So again, don't select the quotes, just where it says Character Name. Uh, hit the Replace button again and this time what you need to type in is the name of your main character um, and it has to include any spaces or special characters it needs to be exactly as you uh, typed it when you created your character so let's see for me it would be that's my uh, main sorcerer character um, it does have to be exact if it isn't correct exactly then when you log into the character um, the UI settings are not going to take effect so make sure it's exact and then go ahead and hit replace in all open documents again and close that and that uh, is all you need to do um, up here at the top it's got the save button and then next to it it's got the save all button which is like three discs so go ahead and hit save all and that will save all of them and once you've done that you can go ahead and hit file close all and close notepad plus plus all those files should now be edited so that they apply the settings to um, your account and your main character <clears throat> so what you want to do now is select all the files again in the UI folder uh, right click one and copy and then you want to go back to your um, documents folder back to Elder Scrolls Online live uh, save variables and right click in the white space and paste those edited files there. Um, you do want to select do this for all if there's any message that there's um, do you want to replace so hit the do this for all conflicts uh, checkbox and then hit copy and replace. You do want to replace them and that's why we did the backup and that will apply them to the game. So that's basically it. Um, after you've done that all you need to do is log into the game uh, make sure all the add-ons are enabled and uh, in fact I will go ahead and do that here and then show you how to use the um, add-on settings transfer to copy those settings over all to all your other characters so let me go ahead and get uh, signed in here and then we'll go through that real quick okay uh, before I get logged in here uh, there's one other thing I probably should have mentioned which is um, once you've done all that and you sign on to the game the first time uh, you need to go to the add-ons tab here um, make sure all the add-ons are checked but also up at the top here you need to make sure that this uh, allow all or allow out of date add-ons is checked um, all these add-ons work perfectly uh, it's just that they haven't been updated since some of the last patches so the version number conflicts and the game thinks they're out of date uh, if you hit allow all out of date they will load and work perfectly but you do have to do that otherwise they won't load at all um, when we log in so go ahead and make sure you do that and then uh, when you log in to log into the character that you um, that you put in when we edited those files and make sure that the settings transfer add-on is enabled here where is it yeah jovx settings transfer that's the one uh, go ahead and log into that main character that we edited and when we get logged in we should see that uh, all of the settings should look like they did in the add-ons video that I made there you go and of course you can you know change it however you want you might not want the uh, all the different um, crafting options up here at the top 
Uh, if you're only doing clothing, you probably don't need to see blacksmithing, that kind of thing. But this is a good template to start with. It's got the mini-map and everything laid out neatly. Um, so that should get you started. Now, to do the settings transfer, you want to go into the controls. And there is actually a hotkey option for uh, Joviex settings transfer. Right now I have it just to the apostrophe or the reverse apostrophe. I'm not sure what that's actually called. Hash? I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, bind that key because that's what's going to let you bring up that interface. And this is basically what it looks like. And um, what you want to do is it's basically showing you here uh, all the add-ons that are supported. And... Um, so it has the scrolling combat text, it has uh, the interface mod, Let's see which other ones it supports. It has the debuff and buff mod, which is cool. Um, it doesn't look like it has the minimap, but I think the minimap is global anyway, so I think that doesn't, doesn't really matter. But anyway, it selects all the add-ons by default. You can click them to uh, uncheck them, but that's not necessary. What you do want to do is actually make sure your main character that you edited is highlighted on the left, which will be by default because it defaults to highlighting the one you're logged in as. And then uncheck that on the right hand side, uh, just because you don't want to copy over the settings. I don't think it probably matters, but just to be on the safe side. And then um, all the others should be checked. Just hit transfer settings. It's going to automatically reload your UI. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, when you log out and log in as one of your other characters, it should have all those settings transfers um, transferred over. Let me just test it real quick to see how well it does. Yeah, so minimap and the uh, quest tracker both do come up. So um, that transfers over most of the settings. and. Uh, so that should get all your characters set up with a good baseline template. Yeah, and all the see all the buff debuff information is all above the characters, uh, the targeted characters. So that transferred over as well. Um, it's a good template to start out with. I really like the layout. So um, it's a lot easier than than tweaking it from scratch. I've actually spent uh, a few hours getting this to look pretty good. So that should do it. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them, and I will do my best to answer any questions that you have, and uh, enjoy.